Hi there. This is Al from GamingGeek.net, and we've got another performance test today. A game request called Enter the Matrix. So this was a video game tie-in of the very famous Matrix trilogy. We're playing the PAL version uh, of the PlayStation 2 release, and we're playing it on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus using the uh, emulator Ether SX2. Now, uh, we're using the PAL version because it tops out at uh, 50 frames per second. So it's easier for us to get to 100%. I'm just going to check if there's a way to... Oh, there you go. Let's max out the... Because the volume of this is a little low. So... so Thank goodness there is uh, some settings there. You we'll also turn subtitles on. Now I've never played this game before. So I am in for a treat. I heard that it runs well on defaults. Let's put that to the test. So let me just adjust the lighting real quick. Oh, I mentioned defaults so might as well um, let's just zoom out a little bit here. And uh, let's take a look at my default settings, right? So uh, these are usually the settings that you want to tweak. And I'm going to um, make it a little darker. All right. So under system settings, you've got your underclocking. Both cycle rate and cycle skip are at zero. And for graphics settings, you have your GPU renderer. Uh, choose Vulkan. Uh, you have hardware download mode at accurate. I think you have threaded presentation here that should be enabled. And last, uh, software rendering threads here in the middle of the advanced settings. I put it to 5 uh, just to be safe. So with that said, uh, let's brighten things up a bit. And we're going to go choose easy. Oh man. Alright, camera is having a hard time focusing. Oh man. I forgot it was Jada Pinkett who was uh, playing the role of Ghost. Right. So, Enter the Matrix is a video game tie in, and Niobe, there you go. Okay, so uh, we can choose characters. Uh, I'm male, so I'll go for the male. 
character. I think this one is a uh, go. Sorry, my my matrix uh, memory is uh, isn't that good. It's been a long time since I last saw the Matrix movies, uh, and it's um, not really the video games, but it's pretty funny seeing Jada right after that um, Will Smith slap uh, on Chris Rock. So anyway. Mm. Weird that the volume is so low. All right. So far, so good performance is great on defaults. Just a moment, uh, a momentary drop there. Nope, we don't want to save our progress. Continue without saving, yes. All right, very exciting. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, okay. So let me just see if we can change the options. No. How about select? No? So, um, this is strange. Press fire to draw a weapon. Just walk around. I wonder where we're supposed to go. Alright, you know what? Let's uh, not walk around blindly. Find and retrieve the package. Alright. That's pretty... That's pretty clear. Uh, where is the package? Press action. Oh, here you go. Alright, fighting here. They're knocked. Oh no, they're not knocked out. Oh. It's uh, moving pretty fast. Alright, freight elevator. I don't know where we're supposed to go. It's locked. Oh, we're supposed to follow the... Okay, so where is... Here? There's this uh, blue arrow there, but... Like... Oh, 
Oh, picking up firearms? How, how, how do we do that? Man, is there some sort of map here? Okay, so the D-pad... Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing. But, now performance is good. So let's just keep going. No, I guess this isn't the right... I have no idea how the... It says to go back, but... That, that red, that arrow thing there, found way inside. Enter the security door behind the clerk's desk. Is this the clerk's desk? This one? Alright. Yeah, the, the arrow isn't really helping. It, the, I can't tell whether I'm getting closer. All right, so it looks like I'm 29. Security door, is there a security door here? Oh, they wake up. Yeah, but there's nothing here. No, it's locked. Geez, maybe maybe this isn't the right way there, but It's locked. Feels like we're moving farther away from our goal. Alright, there's some dude. Here, there you go. See that that arrow wasn't very helpful. Now it lost the... There was like a, a distance to it. Now it's gone, so... I don't, I don't know where to go. It's definitely not here. This is the bath. The bathroom, the the wash. Performance is pretty impressive, though. I mean, this is on default. Right. It's really telling us to go here.
Oh, okay, we've been there before. Um, if only we had like a flashlight or something, because it's really freaking dark. I'll just make it a little brighter. Oh, here, there's a freaking door there. Alright. Yeah, this freaking. Like the lighting's just freaking dark. Okay, maybe it'll take a while to get used to it. All right, uh, the package is supposed to be uh, here, and then it's gonna load. We like to save your progress. No, continue to re without saving. Yes, loading epicenter. Okay, so we're at the epicenter. Uh, that's locked, so we're gonna. All right. That door's locked. See, there's it's some. There are some parts of the game where you can't see anything. To climb fences, move toward the fence. Oh, whatever. That was too fast. Oh, he's just a worker. Right, be scared. I'm not gonna kill any innocent human beings. Just knock them out. Oof, someone's shooting him? Was that Is that correct? We've got plenty of bullets already. Alright. Don't know where we're supposed to be going. Ah, oh, got shot. We're supposed to go there.
I guess this is the wrong area, but I see something here. Nothing. I mean, this is a large area. And it's pretty impressive that uh, performance is holding up. that okay so yeah when it comes to these games I like to really play them as long as I can Because you never know uh, when you're going to get some performance dips. And sometimes uh, in these games, the earlier levels are easier to load. So they perform well. And then the later levels um, are when you start to experience performance dips. Because you know they're a little bit more complicated or they're larger. going on where are my enemies I'm just really I think if uh, we were uh, playing this in normal mode I would have already been dead Taking plenty of damage here. Yeah, this game is freaking dark. Oh, we're healing up. I don't know if you just picked up a healing item or uh, you really heal up. There's a health item there. Someone shooting at us, so let's get rid of him. Got uh, more of these pistols, so you can sidestep like that. And then there's a targeting rectangle there. Oh, but it's so hard to target. Alright. Oops. Where is supposed to go? Here? Yeah, man, the... the jarring how uh, e fast the viewpoint changes when you use the analog stick. Okay.
Okay, so we're in a new area. I'm starting to get an idea an idea how oops. there's one here oops so freaking hard to see enemies where is he? Just make a run for it. They can still shoot me. All right. Dive through glass. Alice. Dive through glass. Sometimes you'll need to get running directly at them and hitting kick. Oh, there you go. You can disarm them if you use the action button there. I think the enemies are becoming many because uh, there was a performance rate uh, dip there. But for as long as you can keep them uh, to a minimum, right? Just keep knocking them, taking them out. Okay, now that I'm getting a hang of it, I'm starting to um, have a better appreciation of it. Weird. Did I just circle back where uh, I need to be? Alright. Oof. Sorry if I'm having trouble keeping the camera, the device on frame. It's just uh, very intense. All right, we're looking for a control room. Is it here? Nope. Is it here? All right, we can use the kick to hop over um, tables. Go to sleep. How about you? All right, he's there's some health here. We'll save that. We might need it for later. Oh, there's the switch. Right. All right, I wonder how long this mission is going to be. I hope the entire game isn't the mission. 
Um, so, the, so that we have a logical end to the episode. All right. Are we supposed to be going down? Yeah, they're see pre pretty hard to see enemies. Uh, I didn't check the options for videos. I'm not sure if there's a way to. Oh, to make the this brighter. But if this were a little brighter, I would uh, have a better appreciation for it. Okay. All right, disarm you. Says we're supposed to be there, but there's no way there. Oh, okay, here's the way. This feels like it feels like we've been here before. Oh, we're going back where we came from. I think because now we can, uh, we powered up the elevator. Is that really that simple? Um, but it's not letting us pass through here. So it's not here. Here. All right, it feels like it's just a little bit more. And then we'll be able to get to the end of this episode. This mission, right? It does feel very matrixy and from the run of the character the running right uh, at least how i remember it the martial arts moves look at the all right caught him finally Uh, where are we supposed to go? Oops. Although I'm just mashing buttons, really. It does feel good. Alright. Uh, let's go. Okay. Finally, we are on this floor. Where we can find um, the whatever it is that we're here to get. Right, of course, we're gonna get a scene with bullet time. Even though Neo's the one, someone else gets to do something like this.
Yeah, I really like the disarming move. Uh, okay. Where are we supposed to go? It says here. Yeah, it says here. There you go. All right. So it wouldn't let us proceed until we've beaten up all the cops. Jumping from behind for whatever. Okay. Oh no. Where are you supposed to go? It says here. Not working. Where else are we? Ah. Maybe we're supposed to get rid of these um, cops. Before it'll open. Where are we supposed to be here? What the hell? Oh. Look at that camera. Are you getting dizzy already? This is the... Alright, maybe we can regenerate health here. Oh man. Can I escape through here? There's a vent! Still tricky. Yeah, I felt that uh, that was an exit, but apparently it's not, so. So this is like a traditional video games where um, older design where if you can't progress if you haven't finished beating all of the enemies. Yeah, it tells us here, but it's oh there you go. Finally, it's uh, open. I'm supposed to do something here? Oh, here. The... Like, figuring out where to go is very tricky in this game. Alright, cutscene. Whoops.
Where are we supposed to go now? Uh, anyway. Now I'll tell you this, that's a little bit of a bad design. Uh, we've already had to backtrack today. We've already had to backtrack once and now it's forcing us to backtrack again. Right, so it's just like they're they're making the they're just padding the levels. I'm not seeing anyone. Look at that, right? How can you see those enemies unless they shoot their guns? Or at least they changed the layout this time. Oh no. So many of them. <laughs> he can't see crap. All right. Yeah, it's performing decent. All right, we're supposed to go here. Can't see anything. Here? So are we supposed to jump over that? Oof. Finally, we took a shot. Let's do the tip because I don't know how to reload firearms. Oh, there are. What a tip. Did you see that? It said that if you have um, ammo, it will automatically reload. All right. Uh, back to where we start well where, where we came from earlier All right, so I think this is it says breakout so I guess we're about to exit this uh, uh, building Now I can see why I looked it up real quick our uh, reviews of this game are mostly in you know, a mixed so I can see why, uh, but I can definitely also see how there can be fans of this game, right? Just... All right, go to sleep. No. Where's that guy? Let me see where you guys are. Oh, look at that. Semi automatic. No, that's even an automatic already. Okay, where are we supposed to go?
so we can heal up find our bearings are you supposed to go here? okay there you go So, I think we're just going to take a look at, it feels like the next scene is going to be a cutscene, I don't know. Uh, but we managed to complete the first mission, right? The infiltrate whatever that building was. Grab whatever that um, uh, item was, and then, you know, make it out of it. Uh, of the building. Um, oh no, look at this, what's this? Aiming and firing. I'm just laying. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's see this through till the end. I don't know we should be so we're, we're supposed to be firing at maybe let's check the objectives. Ride shotgun, keep cops off your tail. Off our tail, so maybe I should be looking at behind. Okay. What's that? The aiming is on reverse look, so. I don't see any cops. Are, are those? It's a little hard to aim, seriously. Okay, so I bet you the next uh, scene is going to be the, you know, conclusion of that mission. It's going to be a cut scene. I was expecting like a uh, a boss fight with an agent or 
something. So it was a little anticlimactic that ending. Look at that, it's so dark. Are you even seeing anything? Oh, is that going to be another level? It's uh, running pretty uh, long that mission, that initial mission, right? And we, we, I saw a glimpse of an agent. All right. Oh no. Seriously. I guess we just need to, like, you know, keep moving forward. Oh, there's the phone. All right. Ooh. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's keep trying that le one more try, and then if um, that's weird after the entire game not having any, you know, pits, uh, we would get a pit and it would kill me. All right, so we're gonna. Oh. Repeat the sequence, it's just short, so hope you guys don't mind. Of course, I'll skip the cutscene. Yeah, it's so hard because I got killed on uh, a jump. Alright. I want to be careful this time. Oh, you know what? We'll call that an episode. So I'll say no, and then we're gonna go back to the title screen. Um, be careful what you wish for. I wanted a confrontation with an agent, and that's what I got. I just want to check if there's a way to... There you go. Alright, so we could... If I only knew, I would have, like, maxed everything out. So yeah, when you play this game, make sure you do that. Audio's already maxed out, so... It's still pretty low, right? But, uh... That's... We have entered the Matrix. Um... I'd say it's a decent game. Uh, plays well on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus on default settings. There were some uh, dips uh, whenever there were too many enemies on screen, but you know, you can manage it by just taking them out, right? 
Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. Once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.